Hi, so today we're going to talk about the closing entries for a merchandising business under the, in, the perpetual inventory system. Just a little review. We have two types of accounts. We have the permanent account and the temporary accounts. For closing entries, we really focus on the temporary accounts because these are the ones that will be zeroed out at the end of the period and some examples of the income statement accounts are revenues and expenses and then withdrawals are also temporary accounts income summary is also part of this group for this set of accounts they only survive one accounting period as compared to the permanent accounts since we're talking about the merchandising business now, there are more temporary accounts that we need to think about. So aside from your normal revenues and expenses in the income statement, now we refer to revenues specifically as sales for the merchandising business. And then we also have contra accounts such as sales returns and allowances and sales discounts which reduces the value of sales and then we have cost of goods sold or merchandise that the business have sold has sold already and then aside from that we have expenses such as salaries expense utilities expense we have freight out or transportation tra transportation expenses to cost um to deliver to customers we have income summary which helps us close the accounts and then we also have Mr. X withdrawal um, as a temporary account. So here in front of you what you can see are the temporary accounts and they follow their normal balances. For sales that's on the credit side because that's revenue and it and it increases equity. Sales returns and allowances and sales discount will be on the debit side since they reduce the value of sales. Cost of goods sold will also be on the debit side. And all the other expenses will be on the debit side. And also owner drawings. So for this example, we'll have rent expense, utilities expense, depreciation expense, and freight out as expenses of the business. Now, before we start closing entries, just to emphasize here that we are talking about perpetual inventory system, meaning any increase or decrease in merchandise will be recorded using the merchandise inventory account. So if we, let's say during the period, if additional merchandise was purchased, that will be a debit to merchandise inventory. and on the other hand, if there is a, a decrease in value of the inventory, let's say we availed of the cash discount, so that will be a decrease in merchandise inventory. So given all the increases and decreases and all and the beginning merchandise inventory, this will sum up to total goods available for sale. Since under the perpetual inventory method, we constantly update the value of cost of goods sold we readily have this value here and what we're doing here is we try to get the value of merchandise inventory end so to do that we just subtract everything that we bought as merchandise during the period minus everything that we've sold from our inventory then we'll get the ending merchandise inventory. So if you look at the adjusted trial balance of a business, let's say this one, the merchandise inventory that you see here, this 178,200, 
this is already the merchandise inventory end. Now, how do we close entries under the perpetual inventory system? We have four steps, similar, almost similar to the service business. So first, we close all temporary accounts with a normal balance of credit. So in this case, that's simply debit income summary. Oh, sorry, rather. In this case, we debit sales and credit income summary. For the second item, except for withdrawals, we close all temporary accounts with a normal balance of debit to income summary. So in this case, we debit income summary and then we credit all the temporary accounts. And then third, if we have a net income during the period, then we'll close the income summary to the owner's capital account. If otherwise, then we have to debit capital account and then credit income summary. And then fourth, we have to close the withdrawal account to owner's capital account. Okay, now let's try to do this. I'll illustrate how to close entries using this example. Okay, so given this adjusted trial balance, what we need to determine first would be the temporary accounts. So if we go through this one by one, the temporary accounts will begin here, sales, and then we have cost of goods sold, rent expense, depreciation expense, utilities expense, and income summary. So let's try the first step wherein we close all the credit, uh, all the temporary accounts with credit balances. So in this case, we only have sales, which has a normal balance on the credit side. So let me just pull up my text editor. Okay, so let me just move this. All right, so to close this, the first entry that we need to make will be to debit income, sorry, sorry for that. First, we need to zero out sales, and sales is on the credit side, so we need to debit sales so that it would be zeroed out, okay? And then we credit income, summary 500,000 okay. by doing so we have zeroed out sales and income summary now has a credit balance of 500 second we zero out all the temporary accounts with the normal balance of debit so we pair income summary with that Okay, I'll put the value later. And then, so we'll just add cost of goods sold. Okay, that will be 300. And then rent expense, 30. Then we have depreciation expense. 15. Okay. And then <clears throat> utilities, utilities expense, that will be 20. Okay, so we have cost of goods sold, rent expense. Depreciation expense and utilities expense, and that will give us a total of 365,000. Okay, now next we need to determine if it's an income or it's a net income or a loss 
or simply what you can actually do is just get the difference of income summary and uh, income summary so mm, on our so just imagine that you're doing a t account okay so imagine for income summary you have a debit balance of um 365 and then for the credit okay just to show you 500 so in this case what you can see is that credit side is bigger than the debit okay and then if you get the difference this will be 135 so what could this mean okay when the credit side of income summary is bigger then it means that we have a net income or another tip if you don't want to compute for it this way then you can simply look at the value of your sales compare it to the total value of your um, income summary here in the second step then if sales is bigger then it means you have a net income if this was opposite if let's say sales here is of lower value let's say 200 then it would indicate that you have a net loss but since in this example we have a net income for the third item we have a credit balance of 135 for income summary and this hints at net income so what we want to do is to zero out income summary so we debit income summary okay. this will be 135,000 and then we credit owner capital 135,000 and after doing that okay, we move on to the fourth step which is closing the withdrawal account to owner capital withdrawal account has a debit balance so we will put that on the credit so i'll just debit owner capital here okay and then the oh sorry um in this in this scenario there's no withdrawal but let's say there is if there is then it would look like this and then you just write whatever value of whatever the value of withdrawal is here in this x portion okay. so i just wanted to show you the um closing entries for perpetual inventory system so if i'm gonna take out this computation here okay then you will end up with these entries steps one two three and four but since you don't have any withdrawal in this situation then you don't have step four okay um another tip for step three here if it's a net income obviously you need to have an increase in capital so that's why owner capital is credited here if it was net loss then it would have been the other way around owner capital and income summary and in this case it would make sense that owner withdrawal will be on the debit side because the net loss will indicate that owner capital will be reduced so that's it for this video um, for the next one i will discuss closing entries using the uh, under the merchandising business using the periodic inventory system so thank you for listening and watching.